We are committed to getting you answers here on Fox Carolina, and every Thursday we check out road conditions mm -hmm. that you write us about. And tonight we're going to Oconee County. You want us to look at the issues on Return Church Road. So we've got some answers for you. This runs about six miles it's through Seneca and Westminster between Highway 24 and Wells Highway. Seneca Animal Hospital right on the end of that road. And once you get there to the intersection of Twin Lakes Road, you can see a lot of patches and potholes. That's where Fox Carolina's Teresa Bowles breaks down the problems and what DOT is doing to help. There's no doubt Return Church Road has a pothole problem. That's why the SEDOT fixed 35 potholes over the past year. But what drivers tell me they want is a pave instead. This is falling apart and it's not wide enough. Scott Holbrooks is just trying to earn an honest living, but to get to the yards he cuts, there is an obstacle. It'll knock it out of line and it'll bounce so much that my lawnmowers on my trailer will get kicked knocked sideways. And Joanne Cantrell says when the weather isn't so nice, it makes matters worse, especially here near the intersection of Twin Lakes Road. And then when they patch the holes, you get the little black stuff all over your car. And it's just, that's all they do is just come in and patch them. And then the next time it rains, it they're right back like they are. And her dog, Max. You have anything to say, Max? You have anything to say? No comment. Is speechless. The state's Department of Transportation says there were 27 pothole requests in the last year. Then I kept hearing about the standing water. What it's doing, in my opinion, is creating ruts in this road that when it rains, we have a lot of standing water, which causes cars to hydroplane. Though Highway Patrol reports only having 25 crashes in five years in this area. Mike Head has driven this road for five decades. I've watched the roads deteriorate a good bit. They used to keep them up real nice back when it was just tar and gravel. But now, you know, they have better technology. They do fix the roads better in a lot of places. The road sees between 1,500 and 1,800 vehicles per day. And with that, Cantrell wishes that they would repave the whole thing because um, it's bad all the way from one end all the way to the other. The DOT says Return Church Road will be resurfaced from Sam Brown Road to Wells Highway. That's definitely the problem area. It's a part of the 2023 Pavement Improvement Program. However, the portion from West Oak Highway to Sam Brown Road is not a resurfacing candidate. I mean, I pick up grandkids and take them every day when school was in session. You need safe roads to, to, to carry your kids back and forth to school. The project has a letting date of March 2023. That means it will open bids for improvement, usually about 90 days before the work starts. And that's when I'll check back. Back to you. And we know there are a lot of roads out there that need a lot of work. And if you have one, you drive on and you're just triggered and you're over it, go to our website or go to our free app. Click on the Getting Answers tab. It looks just like that on the top right hand of your screen. Fill out the form and Teresa will look over those and hopefully get you some answers and maybe even get those roads mm -hmm. fixed in the coming months.